Okay, welcome back AutoCAD students. This is uh, number 12 in my AutoCAD series. This is Chris Dennis and today we're going to talk about moving and stretching our dimensions using grips. Alright, so let's see what we've got here. Um, we have a dimensioned object um, that needs a little cleanup here. Um, for one thing, um, what I would like to do is line this 3 and 2 inch dimension up vertically. Um, I'd also like to line up these horizontal dimensions down here. Uh, I think I want to make them all line up with this half inch dimension. I'm going to move this 1 inch dimension and move the radius dimension. And then the last thing I'm going to do is take care of this extension line of uh, this three inch dimension that's laying on the object. Okay, so I want to move that extension line out to the end of the object so that it looks more like this one down here. You can see this two inch dimension um, that has a nice gap between the extension line and the object. Okay, and this one up here uh, the extension line is laying on top of the object all the way over here to this endpoint. And we want to kind of fix that. All right, so let's get started. Um, okay, so for starters, let's move this two inch dimension to line it up with the three inch dimension. Um, and one of the things that's going to help me do that is my O snaps. Um, so I have my O snap settings on and endpoint is one of the settings in my O snaps. Okay, so all right, well, let's start by gripping the two inch dimension. So with no command on the command line, I just pick it and it grips. And then I'm going to come up to the end of this arrowhead where there's another grip, and I'm going to pick on that and it makes the grip red. And then I come over to the neighboring dimension and it finds the endpoint of the neighbor's arrowhead and I'm going to pick escape will clear my grips and you'll notice these two dimensions now are lined up perfectly okay let's try that again down here I want to line up these two dimensions with this half inch dimension so I'm going to grip the one inch dimension pick the arrowhead grip pick the neighboring arrowhead, escape. Pick the one and a half inch dimension, pick the arrowhead grip, get the end point, pick, escape. Escape again. Sometimes he needs two escapes to clear grips. Okay, up here, I'm just going to move this dimension up a little bit and I also want to show you a couple things that grips can do. So I'm going to grip the one inch dimension and instead of gripping the arrowhead, I'm going to grip the dimension text, which is right here. So I've actually made that grip the hot grip. And notice when I do that, I can um, move the text within the arrowheads here. I can move the text outside of the arrowheads to place it out here. Um, so this gives me a lot of choices as to where I want the dimension text. Okay, So I'm going to keep it pretty much on the inside and just move it up a little bit. Okay, Escape to get rid of the grips. And same idea with a radius dimension. I'm going to grip on the radius dimension text move it a little bit closer, escape to clear the grips. All right, the last problem we have is this extension line that's laying on the object. Um, so I'm going to grip the three inch dimension that that extension line belongs to. I'm going to zoom in a little bit. I'm going to pick the end point of that grip and move it over to the end point of the object. All right, and now I'm going to escape to clear the grips. So you can see what happened there. It took, if I regrip this, it took the point where the extension line begins. There is a point there. The computer um, always has a gap setting between the point and where the extension line is actually drawn. And so that's what we want to do is put that point there. It starts the gap. 
and then it draws the rest of the extension line. Alright, let's take a look. Okay, that looks much better, much cleaner. I'm happy with that. Alright, I hope you can give that a try. Um, again, if you, while you're moving your arrowheads and your dimensions and your dimension text around, uh, your O snaps are going to be handy. Um, if you find they're in the way and your dimension text is not moving where you want it to go, you may want to turn O snaps off. Alright, give that a try and um, let me know if you have any questions and until the next tutorial, uh, have fun with AutoCAD.